All right, ready? Yes. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, hold on. I'm not quite ready. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Five, four, you three, two, one. Do that one. I'm are, are you done? <laughs> are you done? We good? We good? We're to go? <laughs> kill it. <laughs> You're already Hello, killing everyone. Rachel. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Steve Cast. I am Steve. Joining me as usual is Matt. I like how you introduced the man first. That's good, Steve. Good. Yep. Good. Yep, yep. And also <laughs> over somewhere in California, choking on her own alcohol is Rachel. She's is literally adding insult to injury. Great. This is great. This is a great start. <laughs> well, I saw in uh, cast that you had muted yourself, so like I knew I had to put you on the spot. Like I, I knew what was going on. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so tonight we are watching a movie that I had nothing to do with. Uh, if it ends up being awesome, I of course will will take responsibility for organizing <laughs> this fine show that we are doing. Uh, but if it sucks, it's completely on, on Matt and Rachel, but mostly Rachel because this is her pick. Now, Rachel, what are we watching tonight? We are watching Humpty Dumpty. Wrong. I swear I, no? It's the curse of Humpty Dumpty. The curse of Humpty Dumpty. And I swear I didn't pick it because it has hump in it. I swear. <laughs> See, this is this is Matt's master plan because a few <laughs> weeks ago, yes. Matt, Matt yes. copied this uh, film into the chat. And I was like, okay, Matt, is this your pick? With no context. I just, I just posted it in there for people yeah. to look at. He posted it in there. I asked him, are you picking this movie for a sneak cast? He, has say, he said nothing. But it was Rachel's pick. Uh, so I said, you know, Rachel, what do you want to do? And she's like, yeah, we might as well go with Humpty Dumpty. So I feel like Matt really wanted to watch this, but he wanted Rachel to take responsibility for it. I am a puppet master of the highest <laughs> order. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I do feel a little manipulated. <laughs> do you feel your strings are being pulled by me, Rachel? Is that what yes, you feel right now? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, what are you, you drinking tonight? Because you've already been choking on something since we started this show like two minutes ago. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're starting early. Okay, great. Uh, I'm drinking Mezcal, and <laughs> this is not the best cocktail I've ever made, but it's getting the job done. And Coke Zero. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know what? It's actually not terrible. Like, it sounds worse than it is. It's kind of, it's because it, there's like the smokiness of the mezcal is kind of canceling out the fake sugar. I don't know. I'm kind of into it. Rachel, you have you ever had a, it? Rachel, have you ever uh, had a barn harder? You know, oh, God. I've heard of the barn harder. And I remember I asked you once what was in one. And I was not, I, I didn't have the top secret security clearance to find out what's actually Okay, well, one of the ingredients is brown sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the Barn Harder, and then next Steve cast, uh-huh. you got you got to drink the Barn Harder live on the show. Okay. I mean, can I know what kind, like what, what like variety of alcohol is in it? I will it like vodka, tell you. Tequila? I will tell you at some point. Don't worry. Oh my God. Don't worry. The- it has a gummy worm in it. <laughs> it like, does. Ha- you have been edging this for like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> When can I barn harder? Oh, oh, you're going to barn harder. Just you wait a little bit longer. Oh. Okay. Promises, promises. Uh, I will not be drinking this episode. I got my, my one drunken Steve cast in last time. I don't remember anything that happened in the last movie, but I really want to pay close attention to the curse of Humpty Dumpty. Is this one rated R at the very least? Because the last trash you had us uh, watch was PG-13. Oh, with, the, with the Tom calling Tom calling suit. my movie trash says the man that chose Curse of Humpty Dumpty. I didn't choose anything. That was all Rachel. M A. That seems promising. Okay, yeah, that's mature. Uh, this is directed by a guy named Scott Jeffrey, written and directed by him. I looked him up quickly here on IMDb, and this is one of the guys that's behind this Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movie. That's no. that that yeah. people are like very excited to no. see. Of course, who is excited about this movie? No one of value. Everybody wow. on the Steve cast who matters wow. is excited about it because wow. we'll be watching it for a Steve cast. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, it looks like he's got a UK production company. What jagged? What is this? Jagged, jagged Film Edge. Production. Productions. Jagged Edge Productions. Um, and he is very prolific. Uh, he's got all kinds of dinosaur movies coming out. He's got sky monster movies. He's, I mean, this looks like the, the, uh, we should ask Explody Joe if she's ever heard of these people. Uh, this seems like the UK's version of Asylum over here. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Steve has Steve has the Twitter handle uh, for Jagged Edge Productions. So I do. I, I'm I, looking I forward. Can't to, wait to send some some fine content to these people's way. <laughs> now, Rachel, what do you think that the Curse of Humpty Dumpty is going to be about? 
Ooh, I think it's going to be like a sad woman who um, like even cats won't live with her. And so she decides to make friends with puppets. And then the puppets, um, I mean, they're cursed puppets, right? I don't know. One breaks and then it's mad about it and then <laughs> puts it back together. And then all the king's men come in and... <laughs> and start humping. <laughs> yes, and then the humping starts. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what this is going to be about, other than there's probably going to be a Humpty Dumpty doll, and it's going to be cursed, and some bad shit's going to happen with this. Uh, I assume that Humpty Dumpty is going to go on a rampage at some point in this movie. How long it's going to take? I don't know. Uh, this this feels like a movie that it, it, we could be waiting a while before we see any Humpty Dumpty action. But I don't know, Steve. What, what do you point, think? One hour and thirty one uh, minutes in. Yeah. I have no idea uh, what this movie is going to be about because while you were asking that question, it dawned on me that the last time we did this, I was drunk and had Twitter, and so I went to see what I said, and I noticed I asked Tom Sizemore for his skin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't remember this? You don't no! Remember his, you don't remember looking at his skin suit and then Rachel saying he's just a torso, he's nothing else? <laughs> oh, great. I, I, that I, sound I don't, like me. I don't want to talk about it. I'm ready to watch Curse of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Yes. So uh, please go back and listen to the old uh, Steve Cast episodes. The one that's dropping today, oh, like literally right now, is uh, is Doll Factory. Uh, that was I was not there for that one. I you were not. That one. That's one with Ronan. Ronan, and um, yeah, it's interesting. We're, get, so we're doing a test, one, ladies and gentlemen. Go if ahead, this one, if this one bombs, do we blame it on the lack of ninjas or the lack of Rachel? Hmm. Mean- Got to be the ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. No, what's funny? What's funny <laughs> about this? We have la- this. <laughs> the ladies and gentlemen, as we record this, we're doing a test on the Outpost Unknown YouTube channel. There are two Steve nice. casts that are just jacking up our subscriber count here. It is episode three, American Ninja three, right? Uh, and then episode four, Martial Law. So we've had two sort of quasi ninja movies, and they're getting thousands of views. And I think we're up to 118 subscribers now, uh, as of right now, which is crazy but we have doll factory dropping right now so we're gonna we're gonna we're doing a test we're gonna see is is the youtube algorithm just finding ninja and then we just become like uh the steve ninja cast uh so that we could you know eventually monetize and be rich or do we keep watching the curse of humpty dumpty for five ten views and you know you know that is our lives i don't know steve what do you think uh don't care not interesting Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here for the pleasure of your company and uh, the pleasure, the pleasure. Of these movies. <laughs> for the pleasure, are you? God, the pleasure. This looks so garbage. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I got nothing. Get else on to our say. level, Steve. Get on our level. I mean, you're ready, old Steve Cast. You're not above this shit. You know what the truth. There are some things that I am above, and I feel like Curse of Humpty Dumpty is one of them. You're gonna rue the day when this thing rocks. Rachel, what is the Humpty Dumpty like? What is it, a fairy tale, legend? Like, what is it? Yeah, it's like the fairy tale of the egg, right? Which is weird because I'm looking at this poster and there is a distinct lack of anything egg-like on it. So, already false advertising. I'm going to open up the Humpty Dumpty Wikipedia here. Yeah, that's, that's where I went to as well. Okay. English, nursery, English oh, nursery rhyme. Explody Joe should know all about this. Anthropomorphic. Egg. That's a thing that we do. We find one friend that represents, and that then they suddenly represent an entire country. Yeah, <laughs> like Sweden is nothing else to me but Borg. Yeah, um, and Same. England is nothing else to me than Explosion Show. <laughs> it's one monolithic group of well, people. Well, she's gonna be our one listener in that entire <laughs> island, so <laughs> <laughs> might as well be. <laughs> okay, so the first recorded versions of the rhyme date from the eight, late 18th century England and the tune from 1870 in James William Elliot's National Nursery Rhymes and Nursery Songs. Steve, do you feel like you can make a good horror movie out of uh, Humpty Dumpty? Uh, I don't feel anyone can make a good horror movie out of this, and I'm hoping that this movie proves me wrong. Okay, well, I say we get into it. Yeah. Let's do, let's it. do it. I mean, based on our, uh, our algorithm stats, people only listen to the first 47 seconds anyway, so we might as well just dive right into it. <laughs> Sold. <Let's do> it. <laughs> so we start in 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1, play. <laughs> How did we get here before us? Especially when you were driving. 
Isn't there a more important question, actually? What? How did it get here before us? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> she knew she was returning it to its rightful owner. Crumpet commentary. Woof. Steve, why did you pick this movie and why are you making us watch this? <laughs> Woof. I blame you personally, spiritually. Uh, I have screenshots of where you and Matt hashed this out. I, did I didn't hash anything You can out. fake anything on the internet. These deep fake, it's deep true. fake news. You deep faked it, Steve. Rachel, you have to take responsibility for this. Matt Personal picked, responsibility Matt, is for the right. Fuck off. Matt <laughs> dropped this movie in the chat, and Rachel said, yeah, let's watch that. I can Lies, use a humpy slander, in my life. Slander. Uh, so let's talk about what happened in the first 15 minutes of this movie. Uh, like spoiler, driving, it's see. not much. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the equivalent... Like, this is the horror boner killer. Like, this is... The horror, horror boner killer. <laughs> boner killer. killer. Uh. <laughs> this, this movie is just drying out everyone right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. Um, grandma or mom's got dementia. Not grandma. Mom's got dementia. Two sisters are disagreeing about it. They're taking her back to her house. There's a long driving scene. Did I synopsize yeah. the first 15 uh, well, minutes? The, the, op the opening of the movie is a... I feel like we've given this description before. It's a woman like sitting at a table full of doll parts putting a doll together. And, How does uh, it start? Promising start. Yeah, I'm promising like, okay. start. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, this is—is is this uh, the you know the the UK version of of a baby oopsie? But we're not that yeah. lucky. This is significantly worse. Uh, but this woman is putting together a <laughs> doll. She puts like I don't I don't know if this is the doll's head or like a mask the doll is wearing. Regardless, the doll's head ends up looking something that you could maybe say kind of looks like a cracked egg if you squint and turn your head sideways. I feel like. They had like 25% of an idea and they just looked for a nursery rhyme to call it and they said, fuck it, we'll figure it out the rest of the way from here. Uh, mom has dementia. She has nightmares. Uh, she occasionally has visions of uh, things. Like, I was going to say like violent things, but no, like no, she, has, she has visions of herself like in blue light looking off to the side and making a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sisters just uh, like what? Who are the two? It's like Liz and Hazel. I think Liz is the good sister, and Hazel is the one that kind of refuses to accept what's happening to their mom. The uh, sisters, yes. The, crum the crumpets. So Liz the crumpet, crumpet and, ha and Hazel crumpet. <laughs> uh, Liz crumpet is you know like we have to take care of mom. Uh, we have to be very supportive very supportive you know she's going to get worse it's going to be gradual and and hazel crump it's like nothing seems wrong to me everything's <laughs> fine here how about you shut the fuck up about it um still, uh, still no humpty dumpty in this first 15 minutes. aside aside from the woman at the beginning creating it and then saying hello humpty and <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's all, all that's right all. That 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 <laughs> moment alone made it worth watching this movie. <laughs> see, this is a great idea. This is a great idea. Um, I will point out that Stephen, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there is a business that is I don't know, probably about a mile, mile and a half away from where I live. It's called Chippies. It's here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and the whole thing is imports, food imports from England. That's the whole store. It's British food imports. And you can go in there and get all kinds of different, uh, whatever they eat over there. Yeah, crumpets and what, whatever whatever they eat over there, whatever they call food over there in England. Uh, <laughs> so I think I might <laughs> we just go in. shit all over England. We won the war. <laughs> we, have, we have bragging rights for all times, okay? Uh, so I think that might be a new thing. I'm just talking about this because I don't want to talk about this movie. That might be a new show we do for Outpost Unknown where I just review British foods. And it's hey. just for Explody Joe. That's it. It's just for her. It's a show But you just think for salt is too spicy, so you're gonna be like ten out of ten, give me those boiled potatoes. Yum. We're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna 10, find out. Give me those boiled potatoes, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Quote Rachel Shaw. <laughs> if we start merch, we know what the merch shirt's gonna say. <laughs> Okay, Rachel, so how do you feel this is going? Where, where do I mean, you think I it's think going? I mean, I think it's definitely putting the dump in Humpty Dumpty so far. But okay. 
<laughs> what do you think is going to happen in the next, next 15 Nothing's minutes? Nothing's happening. In the, uh, I think we're going to see uh, 10 to 17 more top-down shots of them driving through the forest. <laughs> <laughs> you got to push it to feature length, Steve. You got Now, I will say, what I will say is, it, it is shot well, I think. It's competently... It looks competently made. Um, mm-hmm. It's you know there's there's some no better com- uh, compliment than competent. <laughs> yeah, it's competently made. There's some there's some dolly shots. There's some tracking shots. The music sounds fine. It's just really boring so far. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so, so what are the odds we're gonna see old Humpty D in this? Second. Yeah, that's uh, a good point. Never, but I, I just never? want to say, <laughs> no, he's, he's never going to show up. State of a mind. Uh, the, the, the movie is faking us out. Uh, I do want to say that uh, uh, my girlfriend's mom or uh, used to work as like a nurse or something, and she would tell us that uh, whenever someone had a baby and the baby was ugly and they couldn't think of anything oh, else to no. say about the butt about the baby, they would just say, "Oh, look at its cute little feet." I think. The movie is shot competently. Is like the filmmaking equivalent of that. Oh, brutal! <laughs> oh, look at the nice cinematography. Oh. Look at how the pictures are in motion. Oh, look at how well this shot is framed. <laughs> Well, so far, uh, the director here, Scott Jeffrey, is is not impressing me with the story. So, I mean, Rachel, what do you think is going to happen in minutes 15 through 30? Are we going to get some Humpty action? I mean, I think maybe she'll, like, wander up into the attic and find old Humpty D. We'll see. No, it's it's Umpty. There, there's Umpty. no, oh, there's right. no constant. And then she'll say, hello, Umpty. Umpty day. <laughs> Umpty day. We're going to be banned in the UK. Yeah, all of our subscribers. <laughs> we're just unsubscribe. All these subscribers are just boom, 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 unsubscribe. Uh, I got nothing else to say about this because so far <laughs> nothing's happened. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and start minutes 15. 15 through 30 of, oh, that's the other thing. It is not The Curse of Humpty Dumpty. The actual title screen just said Curse of Humpty Dumpty. I thought that was interesting. It In, really like, the default text of super, Adobe Premiere when you don't, yeah. like, this. pick another how, font. How grim are things when you're like, I think the lack of an article at the front is interesting. <laughs> oh, here we go. We do this on every show. Are we getting boobs in this? Is there going to be boobs in this movie? Yeah, I think no. so. I don't think so. I, I think so. I think so because uh, 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 Hazel <laughs> Crumpet is already talking about how she used to find like the neighbor guy hot. That's I, true, I and don't it exist. is TV MA. So like, what is it doing to get the MA? Violence. There's no violence so far in this movie. No, yeah, I, I feel like th- this this movie is coming off as like very serious about dementia yeah. right now. I don't yeah. feel like there's a there's a uh, an avenue to to throw boobs into a very deep meditation on dementia, but we'll see. Deep, deep, oh Humpty God. deep. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start this in five, four, three, two, play. I looked up Humpty Dumpty last night, a doll. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to show mom that there was nothing to worry about. Find some kind of proof that. God, I don't know. This movie's bloody rubbish, mates. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Steve, why did you do this? Why? I have evidence yeah. that Matt linked this movie and Rachel selected it. I'm going to make that the thumbnail for this film, for this episode. All right, so what happened in these 15 minutes? Again, not a whole hell of a lot. Uh, the conversation between Liz and Hazel continue. Uh, they left the dementia patient in the kitchen with like a kettle of boiling water and so she burns her hand to make, to make what crumpet. show some respect to make what steve to make tea drink rachel all right so <laughs> so rachel's apparently <laughs> drinking every time they mention tea like you know the drink until they're cute like i'm applying that to this movie <laughs> i'm just <laughs> drink until it's good <laughs> oh god uh, so they, they they bandage up mom's hand. Uh, they decide that tomorrow they want to go to the antique store. Before this, they get a, or b- uh, before the, the next scene with the antique store, they get a knock on the door. Uh, Liz Crumpet goes and answers it, and it's Auntie Crumpet. <laughs> and so they have, they have a conversation that goes like this. Auntie Crumpet says, oh, you didn't tell me you were back. Long pause. 
And then Liz says, "Oh, it must have slipped my mi- it must have slipped my mind. Can you come back tomorrow?" Long pause. Long pause. Long pause. <laughs> long pause. Long pause. And then Auntie Crumpet says, "Yes, okay. I'll come back tomorrow at midday." Long pause. And then the auntie just turns and walks away. And scene. Matt, you were a, uh, a a director, air quotes. How would you have filmed the scene if you were doing it? I would have uh, used liberal use of the edit function in Adobe Premiere. Uh, to try also, to Dutch angles. Lots of Dutch angles. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a, la- a decided lack of Dutch angles in this, yes. uh, which I'm very disappointed by. But uh, what, I, what I will say is this movie still sucks. It still sucks, but I but I I like the design of Humpty Dumpty. He he yeah. looks kind of cool to me, and it looks I mean he it looks like what's on the the cover of the DVD art. Yeah. So um you know a lot of times you get we get hoodwinked. Is that a British term? I don't even know. Hoodwinked by the, the <laughs> covers of these DVDs where they'll put something on there and that won't actually be on it. But the last couple we've watched, Doll Factory, Humpty Dumpty, it seems like the actual monster. On the cover is the actual monster we might get in the movie. So I'm impressed with that. This still sounds like you're just really struggling to find nice things to say about this movie. I am. Like, they walk into this antique store and Humpty Dumpty's sitting there with a big old sign that says not for sale on it. And then Hazel Crumpet gets into an <laughs> argument with the, the owner of this antique store where she's like, it's not for sale. Well, of course it's got to be for sale. It's, it's in a shop, right? Well... But it says not for sale <laughs> right there on it. Uh, but they eventually decide to they negotiate and they sell Humpty Dumpty for 700 pounds, which is 850 bucks today mm-hmm. in U.S. Mm-hmm. money. <laughs> so confirmed, it, a hoodwink comes from the mid 16th century from the noun hood and an obsolete sense of wink, which is to close the eyes. Is so it there English? You go. Yes, from England. There you go. Hoodwink. Bam! Good yes. job. We've taken uh, it from them. <laughs> we, we, there, there's a little bit of, uh, I mean, aside from the design, there's like some weirdness going on with Humpty Dumpty because when they go to this antique store, which by the way, the antique store is just someone's room and they printed out, like I could go to my printer right now and print out the word antique and they just, they just like taped that piece of paper to the door. And so on the right side, there's a rack with like four dresses and on the left side there's a table with a clock on it and that's the antique store uh (laughs) but when they go in uh dementia mom says uh dementia mom (laughs) she she recognizes humpty dumpty and she says uh she's telling you know liz and, and hazel crumpet you know your your father bought this for me years ago and and the girls are like i I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen this doll in my life. But Mom is adamant that Humpty Dumpty used to belong to her. Uh, But they've agreed to purchase Humpty Dumpty, but they don't have that much money uh, with them. And so they're just going to go home. There's another top-down shot of them driving through the woods. I fucking called it. (laughs) New drinking game. Steve drinks. God damn it. Top-down shot. (laughs) Uh, When they get to their house... Humpty, the Humpty Dumpty doll is just sitting on like the porch, and I swear they ask, "How did it get here before us twice?" And they like they don't acknowledge it. I don't know if there was some weird editing going on, uh, but Mom is very happy to now have Humpty Dumpty back because she's adamant that she used to be its owner. Uh, they all go and play charades, and Humpty Dumpty just kind of falls over at one point after Mom guesses the correct. Uh, movie, which in this case was Child's Play. Uh, the last thing that we saw is Liz Crumpet brushing her teeth, and she hears a baby crying, and she yells out, or she calls out Mom. Baby and I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why baby crying leads to Mom, but whatever. Uh, movie sucks. Uh, there's nothing redeeming about it. You know, I mean, maybe a couple shots were framed well, but. I don't really. <laughs> I'm on a I'm on a website uh, of British slang. Oh They have, they have, God. A, they oh, have no. a they have a slang term called a cock up. And Steve, I feel like you've got a cock up on this movie, and that means it's a less formal way to describe a mistake someone has made. So, Steve, you've you've cocked up. <laughs> I did nothing. I had nothing to do with this movie. Uh-huh. Matt linked it. Rachel picked it. 
Uh, so it's Rachel's fault. Matt, I need you with me on this. We got to gang up on her. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, you got a cock up? <laughs> Rachel's cock I didn't. Up. I literally can't. So no. <laughs> I guess I'm in the clear. <laughs> this is real bad. Oh, it's so boring. Uh, what are you going to tweet the production company, Steve? Nothing. I, I... It's giving me nothing to work with. I mean, it seems to be some kind of like anti-Karen propaganda, right? Like because it's if she. All right, had... I'll I'll do that. Hang okay. on. All right, tweet. Tweet them that they've cocked up. No, that's not. They'll funny. Kn- they'll know what that means because they're British. See? <laughs> it's funny if we say it. <laughs> At jagged edge fraud is the it's rubbish. It's all rubbish. <laughs> of Humpty Dumpty. What do we say? Anti-Karen propaganda. What are we talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. To be anti Karen propaganda. Uh, so I, I, I went to type. Uh, the, is the curse of Humpty Dumpty meant to be anti Karen propaganda? But I typoed and I didn't put the M on meant. But that's very British of me to not use consonants. So I'm just going to leave that as this. Dear Govna. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an interesting British phrase. She's a picnic short of a sandwich. Meaning the person in question is not very clever. A picnic short of a sandwich? Shouldn't be a sandwich short of a picnic? Well, in America, is it like the correct way, yes, probably. In Australia, <laughs> like the toilets flush the other way? Like no, no, see, it, Rachel, in, in the UK, you bring the picnic to the sandwich. Dude, this is too deep. I've had a lot of mezcal. I can't go on this existential <laughs> journey this with you. Rachel, don't get your knickers in a twist. Awful. Let's just keep <laughs> Let's just keep watching. There's nothing I mean nothing else to do but uh, power through. So but about- shit on the British is that what this episode's <laughs> going to be? We're going to lose our one British listener. Bye, Jody. <laughs> Minutes 30 through 45 of Curse of Humpty <sighs> Dumpty by director Steve. Wait, what's his guy's name? Steve? Oh, Scott oh. Jeffrey. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do not associate me with this film. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, play. Now, I have a question for you. What? How's Humpty? Has he been behaving himself? <sighs> oh, woof. Woof. <sighs> yeah. And it would have been, it'd be real embarrassing to have, like, pointed us towards this movie and then extra, extra embarrassing for someone else to have picked it. I don't know yeah. why you. I don't know why you did this. We're Steve. still gonna be your friend, Steve. Like everybody <laughs> makes mistakes. Oh. It's okay. God. It's okay. This is the circle of trust. We forgive you. Uh, I. What? What? What do we even talk about in this movie? Like nothing has happened. Someone must die. We're forty-five right, minutes in. No deaths. Yet. <laughs> no, de- no deaths. Well, no well there, there's potentially like an off-screen death, uh, but we'll talk no about. Dumpty. Yeah. Uh, so. The, the the beginning of this 15 minute segment uh, Liz, Pr- Liz Crumpet finds Humpty in the hall puts Humpty <laughs> back in mom's room come on uh, and do the leaves. Humpty hump uh, sorry uh, <laughs> um, sorry Steve uh, go ahead Steve Christ. <laughs> Uh, we we didn't mention it. I think we meant to mention it last time. We didn't, but like Humpty is like a life size doll, uh, which is you know very important to this movie because that just means that you could like put someone in this suit and have them walk around. I and called so, it, by the way. I called. So, it. You did. You did. You did. Uh, and so uh, after Liz Crumpet puts Humpty back in Mom's room, Humpty Dumpty gets up and walks over to Mom. Uh, and then like opens its mouth. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, it opens it off screen. So they just put like a different mask on the, the Humpty Dumpty actor. Uh, with it's got like a hundred teeth in it, and he, he, he like licks mom. Uh, meanwhile, mom is having a nightmare where she is like burying something outside while Humpty Dumpty slowly like rises behind her. Uh, then the evil Aunt Crumpet comes back. Uh, she gets uh, Mama Dementia alone in the house. <laughs> and it turns I wish out... wish I had Dementia right now. <laughs> yeah, I would like to forget about this movie. Um, 
Uh, so it turns out that uh, mom's husband slash Liz and Hazel Crumpet's uh, dad, so Daddy Crumpet, has been missing for a long time. Uh, and apparently Mama Crumpet said that uh, he just he found another woman and ran off. Uh, but evil Aunt Crumpet doesn't believe that. She believes that uh, her brother is dead. And she is trying to trick uh, Dementia Mom out of her half of the house. Uh, and so she goes rifling through uh, the I don't know documents in the house. She gets tripped by Humpty Dumpty. Like Humpty Dumpty's only actual attack on someone in this movie so far is to like lay down on the floor and let someone trip over them. Uh, <laughs> effective, <laughs> very effective. I mean, she did trip, so you know, mission accomplished. Uh, but she finds, I think she finds some sort of document. Regardless, she wants the house. She believes that her brother is dead, and now she's trying to get the house from uh, Mama Crumpet and the Sisters Crumpet. Uh, that's it. So that's much all. Drama. That's all that's happened. Uh, the, Bill, exciting. Bill the gardener shows up, and I think Bill like might know something because the end of this 15 minutes is Bill saying, I didn't know you kept the thing in reference to Humpty. And then he says, how much do you actually remember? So it seems like uh, it's very likely that daddy Crumpet is dead and was buried. And even though mama Crumpet has dementia, uh, Gardner Crumpet, AKA Bill uh, knows what's up. And that's where we're at. This is Who do we awful. think is going to die first? Somebody's got to die. It's got to be somebody. Beryl. It's got to be Aunt Crumpet. You think it's Aunt Crumpet? I don't know. I feel like British James Cameron might be the one to go because he knows too much, right? Like, And Humpty can't have that. I assume we're talking about Bill the Gardener. Yeah, who's yeah. James Cameron? Okay. <laughs> it's like British James Cameron. I don't know. <laughs> um, do you? I'm going to segue into something completely different here. Uh, Please. Rachel, Rachel, do you say aunt or aunt? Aunt. Do you say I aunt? Say, I say aunt as well, but I heard Steve say aunt, so I'm wondering if that's a if Steve that's a southern he's fancy. thing. Hey, what do you say, Steve? Do you always uh, did you always uh, call your aunt an aunt? Uh, I feel like I probably use them both interchangeably, and I don't actually think about it. Okay. Do you have a family member that is a relative of your like? Do you have like an, an aunt or aunt? And if so, what do you call them? Uh. I, I, aunt or aunt is what I call them, depending on because I don't think about it as I just. All right, so said. they call you ring, ring, ring. Hello, Steve. It is your, and you say. Uh, I say, why are you calling me? Because my family is a piece of shit, and I don't talk to them. <laughs> Ooh, this is awkward. <laughs> this is the curse of Humpty Dumpty. So back, <laughs> so back to Humpty Dumpty here. I will say that had this movie not been called Humpty Dumpty. I would never have looked at this doll and thought it was Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> it doesn't give off like Humpty Dumpty vibes to me. Um, I, I just kind of was thinking about this as I was watching it. I was like, oh, yeah, because if they didn't point out Humpty Dumpty, I would never would have made a connection. Uh, uh, so. I would also say that if it weren't called The Curse of Humpty Dumpty, it should just be called Awkward People Sitting Around Having Tea. Now, I will say that I was uh, looking up, doing some research doing some research, and there's a website in the UK called Nerdly. Nerdly.co.uk. You can go there and you can look up a Mr. Phil Wheat's review of The Curse of Humpty Dumpty, in which he gives it five out of five. How? And, and, and maybe Hell. we're missing something here, guys. Maybe we are just missing something. Like I said, it was set up like a deep meditation on dementia and right. memory loss. Perhaps we're not giving this the, you know, the respect it deserves, the attention that it... No, it fucking sucks. Stupid review. There, there Stupid. is a line in this review that says, uh, Jeffrey, who is the director, Jeffrey piles on the terror. No, there has been no piling. There has been no terror. There's we are no terror. 40, we, we are 45 minutes in, and Humpty Dumpty's only attack is falling to the ground and tripping someone that didn't know he was there. Maybe people in England just get scared a lot easier than Americans. Maybe they're still gun shy from the war way back then. When it's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> scoreboard, <laughs> scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, guys. I mean, what, Rachel, what do you think? I mean, it's forty-five through sixty. What do you anticipate happening? I mean, I'm happening? looking at this little like progress bar and despairing for my. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, <laughs> it's not moving fast. How are we fast. only halfway through? Like, literally halfway. Yeah, I mean, I will say this fast. was a good night to have a hard stop. Uh, cause I don't want to talk about this movie past <laughs> 9 o'clock either. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well guys. with that, it's ladies rough. and gentlemen, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a short Steve cast, but that's okay. Sometimes it's better for our mental health. So we're going to continue with minutes 45 through 60 of Curse of Humpty Dumpty by the great, the wonderful Scott Jeffries. Uh, five out of five stars, according to <laughs> some stupid website in England. In five, four, three, two, play. I know, okay? You know. You already told me everything. Yeah. You still don't believe me. Yep. Yeah, this is getting rough, guys. It's getting real rough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will say that uh, here in America, many, many years ago, uh, we had, uh, our, our military had this thing called the Doctrine of Preemptive Strike. And the, oh I, the idea... Are we really getting into this <laughs> doctrine today? Is that yeah. really how well, far well, we have fallen as a show? <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, the idea is if we could take out Jagged Edge before they could subject us to this, <laughs> we would Preferably have to be here. Preferably before the Winnie the Pooh movie comes out. No, I've... but yeah, I say we need <laughs> Winnie the Pooh in our life. <laughs> no, uh, we do not. All right, Steve... Sorry, uh, I was I was tweeting the Doll Factory guy, so I didn't watch like the first five minutes of this. <laughs> okay, so maybe Rachel can back me up on this because I'm a little confused as to what happened here. So James Cameron explained yeah. the whole sort of thing. Um, the <laughs> the dementia mom is like, "Tell me all, tell me everything," and so he's like, "Yo, you basically had a miscarriage, and Hazel Crump, it's not really your kid. You adopted her. Twi- it's like a Shyamalan twist here, Jeez. right?" It's a twist, and I don't know. Like, did she sacrifice? Is like, was the miscarriage a sacrifice to Humpty Dumpty or not? Because he kind of he says, "I checked out for a minute there." He says so something important. like the 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 end of one life created another, or something like that. Like, is yeah. it is it the is it the baby inside Humpty Dumpty? I like, mean, I kind of feel like maybe she killed the husband. Like, at, Why like, would a it, woman do that? I I can think of a reason. <laughs> 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 yeah, we but finally I'm... get a kill, guys. We finally get a kill. Rachel, you called it. It was the Karen. Um, yes. So tell us Karen. what happened there. Uh, Crump and Karen was up in a snooping in the attic, which is a bad idea because... I always called them oopsie baby. Um, Humpty Dumpty is not down with snoopers. So <laughs> <laughs> have they mentioned have they mentioned the name Humpty Dumpty in this movie at all? Yes, yeah, they during yeah. the Sherlock Google scene. The Humpty Dumpty was specifically referred to. I was probably like I probably was checking my eyelids for cracks. And didn't see that because I missed that entire. <laughs> so. Checking your eyelids for cracks. It's such a dad statement. That's what that's what my <laughs> granny pop used to say all the time, and so I got granny that from him. Pop? Granny that's pop. So yes. Is, did you really call him Granny Pop? Yes, Granny that Pop. So and he'd be lay, he'd be sitting in his chair, and I'd be like, Granny Pop, what are you doing? And he'd go to sleep, and he'd be like, Nope, I'm just checking my eyelids for cracks. And then he would fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> See that That's story adorable. was more entertaining than the bullshit we're watching. <laughs> no, Fuck you, not. England. Continue. Oh God. I know we need to have our own equivalent of like the the tea party. Like, what does it look like for when we're we're rebelling against the, hump, the curse of Humpty Dumpty? What are we throwing over the the side of the ship? Um. The digital SD cards that the <laughs> that this movie resides on. <laughs> Are we gonna pick it outside of Tubi headquarters? We oh, should. God. Where? Yeah, I'm gonna look up Tubi headquarters. You guys continue to talk amongst yourselves. Uh, so Humpty Dumpty is just a Pennywise ripoff at this point. Like, think of uh, the the scene of Pennywise where like his mouth opens and he's got like the million teeth in there and he starts yeah. like running at the kids. Like that's that's Humpty Dumpty. Like it's just it's completely just fucking stolen from Pennywise at this point. Breaking uh, news! Breaking news, guys. Rachel, what? I know you got to be out. I got I know you got a hard cap tonight, but you're gonna have to cancel your plans. Tubi's Uh-oh. located in San Francisco, so <laughs> get your picket, <laughs> go out there and start complaining about the curse of Humpty Dumpty. 
Um, I have exciting news. If you enjoyed this Humpty Dumpty content, there is more on the way. That's right. Curse of Humpty Dumpty 2 is coming. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? I just Why? To look up when it came out and it would in IMDB informed me. We're not done. Oh we are my not done with the story. God. So this may or may not live end on a cliffhanger. It's probably going to have some like post credits <laughs> Humpty Dumpty rising from a grave kind of situation because we're not done oh no no the story continues the fans called for it they said more Humpty Dumpty content. no we can't, lies we cannot stop, stop at one. lying we to me we require more Humpty Dumpty I, I'm looking at the IMDB page for Curse of Humpty Dumpty 2 and it doesn't even have a director listed on it it's just cast that's it no writer no director well the, I guess this one didn't have one so makes sense <sighs> Humpty Dumpty 2. Get ready, <laughs> folks. If you thought this content was riveting, if you do it, it again. <laughs> if you demand it, folks, leave a comment. If you demand us to watch Curse of Humpty Dumpty 2 and blame it on Steve, leave a comment. No! This I is mean, not my fault. This is the movies. Rachel cast. The Rachel See, I cast. I don't know. I feel like being Photoshop say differently. <laughs> like, there is no proof. So, <laughs> all right, so we're only an hour. Like, all right, there's only 30 minutes left in the movie. Like, Oh. And, and, and now, <laughs> and now, like, Liz Crumpet is looking up Humpty Dumpty on like the uh, I don't know the the knockoff Wikipedia, and so of course, like the the in universe Wikipedia has pictures of Humpty Dumpty with his you know mouth full of teeth and whatnot. So she's presumably going to just read how to kill him. But I mean, have you noticed no- that all these movies we watch? All of these doll movies. It was in. I think there was a, a moment in in Doll Factory in Baby. Yeah, Lucy. they just go they, Google it. They always sit down at a computer and Google the answer, and that is a that is a, a recurring motif in these movies, and it's driving me Plot fucking doll. crazy. Stop it. Be a better writer. Come up with a unique way for your main character to figure it out. Make them actually smart and intelligent. Don't make oh. Google's got the answer. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Fuck. I was bored and I just looked up uh, dementia jokes. So if you guys want oh any of the... God. If you guys want any of the 82 best dementia jokes from upjoke.com, let do me it. know and I can, I can throw it. one at you. Throw it. Throw it at me. A doctor recently told me that I have cancer and now he's saying I also have dementia. But at least I don't have cancer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> three older men are undergoing a memory test at the doctor's office. The doctor asks, what is three times three? The first man says, 274. The second man says, Tuesday. The third man says, nine. The doctor, pleasantly surprised at the third man's correct answer, says, great, how would you get that answer? Simple. You just subtract 274 from Tuesday. <laughs> Now, Rachel, Rachel, you are the barometer. You are our gauge for problematic content. Is it is is making jokes about people with dementia? Is that problematic? Of course. <laughs> Why? Steve, They're not going to remember. You're oh. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus, Steve. Classic Steve Cast. Wow. Right with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to watch minutes 60 through 75 oh, of The God. Curse of Humpty Dumpty Why? in 5, 4, 3, 2, play. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Steve. Christ. So, you know when Beryl was here? Mm-hmm. We had a cup of coffee together. Oh, yeah? Is that all? Mm. She's lovely. Why? What's the matter? Well, she's not lovely. She's a bitch. Has anybody anybody tried to get rid of Humpty Dumpty in this movie yet? I can't remember a single instance of anyone trying to get rid of this doll. They keep telling mom get rid of the doll like people that seem to have some sort of like understanding about what's going on keep saying get rid of the doll like that's something that she should have the power to do and no one's just like tried to like take it away no one has tried to like throw it in the garbage no one's tried to like just drive it somewhere like people like know now beyond a shadow of a doubt that Humpty Dumpty is causing a problem and they're just they're just let it stay there. Not only do they let, not only do they let it stay there, they frequently leave dementia mom at home with the known murder doll. 
<sighs> What's another uh, dementia joke, Steve? Oh, oh God. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can find a good one. I'm sobering up. This is getting so dark. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Dementia. Who? Oh, Jesus. Jesus <laughs> um, Rachel, how do you feel? I mean, what? you said you like you like the design of Humpty Dumpty. I do, correct? actually. Like, this movie is hot garbo. Like, there are many things I do not like about it, but, like, I can't deny that the Humpty de- design is actually kind of cool and creepy. Does I cool- wish it was less, like metaphorical Humpty Dumpty and more like actually like puppety Humpty Dumpty but like like the mouthful of teeth like all that kind of stuff is I don't know it's kind of cool like I I'm gonna say bad things about this movie but there's one thing I like and it's the Humpty Dumpty design yeah I don't think the design looks bad I think it looks pretty cool I wish yeah when when they show like a close-up of it it doesn't really give you the impression that there's like cracks in the egg head it's almost more like they just have like black lines kind of painted over I don't is know. It? Humpty Dumpty. I feel like Humpty Dumpty is a misnomer. I feel like we've been led astray with the Humpty and the Dumpty. It's just like round head. <laughs> I believe in them. They would never Curse of round head. <laughs> Curse of round head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look that up. TM, TM, the next uh, Outpost Unknown Cinema. <laughs> Let's steal it. Let's yeah, steal Steve, it. Steve, tell him that that should be the subtitle of Curse of Humpty Dumpty 2. Uh, <laughs> Roundhead. I don't want to, to talk to this guy ever again. In fact, I want to tell him that this is bad and you should feel bad. Uh, you know, follow your dreams, but don't follow them that closely. Don't follow them that hard. Now, we've, we forgot to mention in the previous segment that the, the Karen got killed uh, by Humpty Dumpty. Dumpty, and we did get a little bit of blood. She like coughed up some blood, and then there was a, just a quick shot of a bunch of blood all over her. But it certainly wasn't any sort of gory, horrible, you know, death scene uh, or anything like right. that. We got Hazel. She got stabbed. Right, Steve. Can you walk us through what the twists and turns of this 15 minutes are? Because I'm confused as to what is. There happening. are no twists and turns. This director is just throwing out words and making you think that something weird is going on. It's just stupid. Uh, they, 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 they look up the, the not Wikipedia, uh, and they find out that people sacrifice their babies to Humpty Dumpty because they believe that Humpty Dumpty will make them immortal. Uh, like you do. Um, Wait, then... he doesn't? Apparently not. Ooh, um, some awkward conversations with some people. Problematic, Humpty. Then Problematic. <laughs> Liz Crumpet goes back to the antique store uh, to, to talk to the shop owner uh, about Humpty Dumpty, but the shop owner knows who Liz is and just starts laughing maniacally and playing a piano and like, at, like it does absolutely nothing to advance the plot. Uh, so then she just leaves. She has a sweet purple turban, though. She does have Where's a that? cool outfit. Yeah, like um, we we knew last segment that uh, who who's the other sister, not Liz. Hazel. 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 Uh, Hazel. We we knew that Hazel was adopted, and her mom starts telling her, "You're not my daughter. You're not my daughter." And so she goes to look for her birth certificate, but ends up finding her adoption certificate instead. Uh, meanwhile, down on the first floor, a strange man who may or may not actually be there, I can't fucking tell yet, starts beating uh, Mama Crumpet. Uh, And at that point, Hazel runs downstairs to try to console Mama Crumpet because the man's not here anymore. She gets stabbed in the neck by Humpty Dumpty. uh, And then Bill the Gardener, who clearly knows what is going on, but just because the movie needed to be like at least an hour and a half for reasons, won't just say the words, hey, let me tell you what happened. Uh, he, <laughs> he has like, he, he apparently like in the past promised uh, Dementia Mom that he would always be there for her. There are flashbacks to Bill the Gardener uh and mama and papa crumpet like worshiping something i i don't fucking know like this is just like they they just like threw like supernatural words into a hat and pulled them out and like stuck them in their script yeah i was promised like i don't know like wild puppet killer puppet action and instead i'm getting like 
weird folk horror. This is, I mean, it, that's fine. Were you promised that, Rachel? The, Who promised I, I mean, that to you? The poster promised that to me. The <laughs> it's, poster. It's just Humpty sitting in a chair. <laughs> Look at all killer puppies. To be fair, Humpty Dumpty has just sat down in this movie. The poster paid off. I will yeah. point out, like when she, when Mama Crumpet is on the floor in her bedroom, she looks into a mirror and sees a reflection of herself saying, "Get rid of the puppet." Like I don't know why that couldn't have happened, you know, fifty minutes prior to, <laughs> to this moment. But they they show that shot of that CG like little girl doll moving its head around. Mm, what the hell right. is that about? Yeah, suddenly other puppets are also alive. Like, I don't know. Like, I was confused. Like, I'm like, what is that? Like, shit is just happening for no particular reason. They've had like, an hour and 15 minutes at this point to actually explain anything, and they haven't. Humpty Dumpty is a thing that exists in this movie. Uh, human sacrifice may or may not be in- be involved. We have 15 minutes left, and I feel like absolutely nothing has been paid off so far. Right, so I'm, I'm assuming looking, we're going to pay assuming, that off in part two. Oh I'm god! I'm looking at the poster, and it makes it look like a horror comedy. The tagline is literally "He'll crack you up." This feels like a bait and switch. <laughs> There's no, uh, there's this no is why they don't fucks with you, England. Okay, this is why because you, you lie to us. You lie to us. You do. All those people in England. No taxation without representation. Also, yeah. this is some bullshit. Yeah, I mean, England, England. Just newsflash: you're never gonna get the glory days when you like subjugated the entire world. Now you're just a, a few islands. Wow. Uh, wow. You're just a few islands uh, out there in the Atlantic. No one cares. So. Wow. <laughs> I like that we've taken this to an anti-colonialist place. Now, 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 I feel like I'm at home at this on this podcast. <laughs> Uh, okay, so how, we're getting to the final 15 here. Rachel, how is this all going to end? Oh, my God. I'm sure we're uh, garbage. I probably won't watch half of it. And also, <laughs> she killed the husband. I don't know. <laughs> there'll be no Humpty. There'll be no Dumpty. Except for that there's going to be a sequel. So I guess there will be some Humpty and Dumpty. Do you, you do you think this is this any of this is real? Or do you think this is all in her head? I mean, this feels pretty unkind to its its lead character and her mental um, it, Ill, illness issues. So I'm guessing it's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be pretty rough. We, I of mean, course, not, have been handling not, her kid yeah, yes. You, Steve. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I distinctly remember, Matt, you requesting a dementia joke. You could always I say... I just remember you picking this movie and making us watch it. That's the only thing S- I Steve, you, you have the power to say, no, Matthew, that would be uh, irresponsible of me and problematic, and I will not do it. And you didn't. You went into it with relish. I am being <laughs> peer pressured, and I don't appreciate it. How do you feel this is going to end, Steve? Stupidly. Okay, I... F- <laughs> I, f- I feel that... Uh, I feel that Humpty Dumpty uh, is real. I think he's a real thing. And at the very end, you're going to see uh, a stinger tease for Humpty Dumpty too. Oh he's yeah, real. I think Humpty Dumpty is definitely real. I didn't realize you were asking me. Yes, Humpty, I'm I'm team real. Okay, team real. Well, let's, let's finish this fucking thing in five. <laughs> team, team, five. team stupid. <laughs> <laughs> five, four, three, two, play. Oh my God, make it in. Oh, thank God, it's fucking over. Oof. That was, Oof. That was real bad. That was real, real bad. Almost unforgivable. Oh. In my opinion. Um, yeah, <laughs> all right, Steve. Steve, wrap this up. How, how'd this all shake out? I don't know, because no, I couldn't follow anything that was fucking happening. Uh... I still don't know if Humpty Dumpty is, is, is real or not, or if it was just the mom. Uh, there were apparently some human sacrifices. Uh, the mom at one point tries to convince Liz that 
uh, the, the Humpty's not real. It's actually the mom is just crazy, and she's going to prove that by leading Liz to the to the grave of her father. Um, but instead, she leads them to the body of Hazel, and she was buried like an inch and a half into the ground, so it didn't take them long to dig. Uh, this turns Liz against the mom. Uh, and she goes inside, she tells mom to stay away, she's gonna call the police, but then Humpty stabs her and kills her. The ending of the movie <sighs> is... Yeah, yeah. The... Like, I'm literally yawning. I was, that was not a joke, y'all. <laughs> I was, like, sleepy before this movie, now I cannot wait to actually go to bed. Uh, the end. Of, the end of the movie is mom sitting in a chair, kind of, like, singing to herself, and, like, the bodies of her dead loved ones are just like around the chair. In a long uh, take. A yeah. long, long take. There's like... a lot of things in this movie that are just drug out. Like there's a scene, uh, we, we thought that Humpty was going to do something for a minute, but so Bill the gardener is finally like, yeah, I, I can't take the guilt. We were doing you know, human sacrifices. Uh, I'm going to call the police and confess. So he goes in, he picks up the phone. He sees Humpty Dumpty in a chair. And then, so he puts the phone down, and over the course of at least six human lifetimes, he makes his way <laughs> towards the chair where he t- where he touches Humpty Dumpty's head, and then he spends an equal amount of time backing up, and then he continues to look at Humpty Dumpty for like another six or seven, and then Humpty Dumpty finally just quickly like scuttles towards the camera, and Bill dies off camera. Scuttle, scuttle. Yeah, I yeah. feel. I, I, I know I can relate to how Morpheus feels in Sandman when he's trapped for like seventy years in that little glass. You know, exactly. It's what it feels like, man. This thing is so fucking slow. They could have just, just with some proper editing, uh, they could have chopped fifteen minutes out of this movie at least. And made Matt, it a lot. That is what to be fair is. You just do mat cuts of all the shit. That I just re edit. <laughs> I just yes. re edit everything on Tubi. Oh God, this 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 movie was rough. Now I I'm of the opinion that Humpty Dumpty is alive because the last sort of thing here is is the mom. Again, big reveal. She was the one murdering everybody. Uh, but she tells Liz. Boy, she tells Liz that hey, Humpty Dumpty is right behind you. And Humpty Dumpty is right behind her. We see it in camera as he slices her throat. I mean, there's no way but, the mom could be talking no, to her and then get we, behind her. No, but we also saw Humpty Dumpty stab Hazel. And then you also saw another scene where it wasn't Humpty Dumpty. It was actually the mom. I don't, right, I don't think right, that right. really proves anything. No, it does. Yeah, that was just in Dumpty vision. It like. does prove, though, <laughs> because this was the only time in which they were all in the same room at the same time. The other ones, when Hazel's uh, dead, you could you could plausibly argue, well, the mom's there and Humpty Dumpty's there. And boom, that's how that happened because you're seeing it from the mom's perspective as Humpty Dumpty. But in this, she's literally across the room from her daughter and she's like, Humpty's right behind you. And you see it. You see all three of them in the same space. I think you're giving this movie way too much credit. That would yeah. mean that Liz would be would be hallucinating where she's actually looking at her mom from. I mean, she's an unreliable maybe, wait, narrator. Yeah, maybe maybe Deeper. the mom is hallucinating Liz's reaction. Why don't you hallucinate your way to never picking a movie again? How about that? I yes, did it, you Steve. sons of bitches! Yes, Steve. <laughs> you know, fine, fine. All right, guys, everyone listening right now, here's this. I am not picking any more movies, which means now you two get to pick. <laughs> Fine, I'm fa- I'm happy with that. You happy with that, Rachel? Sure, 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 sure. I mean, I'm still gonna blame Steve for all the bad ones, but yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. Of course. So, our <laughs> here's the real question: Are we gonna watch part two when it drops? No, obviously. No. <laughs> Why? Because c- completism. Speaking of completism, just, then he's gonna be, he's gonna be like the the fans are clamoring for Humpty Dumpty three. I gotta and you know make what it. We're gonna we do. Will never we're gonna make it. Yes, we're going to just keep it going. That is our power. We're going to keep the, I single-handedly keep the Humpty Dumpty universe going. Yeah, so what? So what he the made, HDU. So, Steve, you had a really good idea from some of the old Steve casts that we have been posting on Outpost Unknown. So, listeners, go check out some of those old ones. 
we had this thing that we used to do with recommendations when it would pop up. So I think you and I have got the exact same recommendations. I'm not sure if Rachel got the same, but what I rec- did. Okay, so what recommendations do we have for the next one, Steve? Uh, so the one that uh, 2B actually tried to autoplay uh, was the Jack in the Box Awakening. <laughs> Terminally ill heiress Olga Marsdell oh acquires God. a mysterious gothic box containing a captured demon who makes a deadly deal with Olga and her son. Uh, other recommendations are Robert the Doll, which we have uh, considered watching in the past, See No Evil, Coraline, and another Jack in the Box movie. So apparently Jack in the Box Awakening is part of a series. Yeah. I feel like Coraline should not be on this. Like, <laughs> One of these like, things is like, not a, like the others. That's a great yeah. movie. It should not. It's like, oh, sweet. I mean, maybe it's a good thing because someone's be like, oh, okay, I I liked this. Maybe I'll watch Coraline. Then they'll see what a good movie is. But on the other hand, they could be like, what the fuck? And then they'll never watch Coraline because that is recommended because they're going to think it's like this bullshit we just watched. And Coraline loses a potential viewer. So I'm against this. Tubi, <laughs> Tubi. When Rachel, when I go out to San Francisco, we're gonna go picket the Tubi headquarters, and I'm gonna have a sign yeah. specifically saying Coraline should not be recommended after this. It's it's bullshit. And I'll tweet. I'll tweet that to these the guys. see the Coraline opera that is currently playing in San Francisco right now. Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, there's Coraline no Chris opera. should not be Yet. recommended. I know what we're gonna do with our money Tubi when we get monetized. It's time to after Humpty. Dumpty. Oh, that was bad, and you should feel bad. Are you, t- are you tweeting that at Tubi? I'm tweeting that at Jagged Edge Productions. Okay, good. Oh, good. You should tag the Tubi, too. I mean, they need to know. Yeah. They done fucked up. Uh, tweet sent. I don't care enough anymore. You know, Steve, I apologize. I apologize for blaming you for this 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 movie. I'm actually going to ex- blame Explody Joe because <laughs> she's British. <laughs> so it's actually Explody Joe's fault that this thing exists, and uh, she's not allowed to pick any more British movies. <laughs> no more British movies for you, Explody Joe Crumpet. <laughs> so, I mean, I got nothing else. <laughs> uh, Rachel, you got any final thoughts on the curse of Humpty Dumpty? Ah, so sleepy. Very sleepy. Yeah, I don't know. This is rough. Hey, uh, just FYI, uh, this Jack in the Box, I'm looking at IMDb here, and uh, Mama Crumpet also stars as Olga in that. So So she's the terminally ill heiress in this? (laughs) Yes. She's typecast. No, is this? The typecast. No, absolutely. Oh, wait. Is is it also made by Jagged Bullshit Productions? Hold on. (laughs) Jagged Bullshit. No, this is Fowler Media, also from the United Kingdom. Let me click the production company Sensing a theme. Okay. Oh, they only have three movies. Jack in the Box, The Awakening, Jack in the Box, and The Ghost Within. So there's a two-parter there. Uh Uh-oh. Someone's getting sleepy. I'm going to go, like... (laughs) <laughs> take a shower now and <laughs> think long and hard about whether I'm even going to go to work tomorrow. Um, so with that, thanks for listening to another episode of The Real Steve Cast on Outpost Unknown. Uh, stick around. Uh, we're doing these twice a month now. So yeah. you got more Humpty Dumpty <laughs> coming in your life, perhaps. And uh, in ninjas. And Mostly ninjas. Mostly, Mostly ninjas. <laughs> Is there another ninja movie we haven't watched on TV? There's got to be, right? There's gotta be tons of them. Hold on, let me let me let me type in search. I'm gonna Let's type give people ninja. a little tease of what they have to look ahead at, because the next one should be a. I'm gonna type ninja. We have ninja ninja shadow of a tear. Ninja wolf. Ninja ninja the immovable heart. Nin- Danny Glover is in ninja the immovable heart. Really? I mean that his name's at the top on the poster. Ninja oh, that makes wolves. Me sad. I'm Nin- into Ninja Wolves, Ninja Cheerleaders. Ninja Swords of Death. I mean, li- literally, oh, there's Ninja Vengeance. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> it's still there. Somebody I mean, is riding a spider in Ninja the Final Duel. I mean, we really could just do an offshoot of the Steve cast where we could, we could split this, guys. We could have Steve cast the Ninja Project and Steve cast the Doll Project. <laughs> or we could... <laughs> We could ju- I mean, we'll, we'll go where the views take us, which right now is towards ninjas. That's true. Is there a ninja doll movie other than Axis of... That sounds <laughs> somewhat porny. Really? That's something I would expect Rachel to say. 
Let me look. All right, so look. I looked up Ninja Doll. I've got yeah, me copyright too. criminals. <laughs> There's uh, something called R Roller Gator. Roller <laughs> it's Gator. not Ninja, but <laughs> <laughs> there does three ninjas be a high noon at Mega Mountain with Hulk Hogan. Oh God. Uh, okay, guys, that's it. We'll, we'll, we'll be back next. <laughs> we'll be back in two weeks or something else. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs>